in this video you will learn how to find reaction forces in a simply supported beam with point load not located at the center in the previous video you learned about point load located at the center of the beam you can check out for the video from the playlist in this question you are required to find the reaction forces at point a and point b which are r subscript a and r subscript b where r simply means reaction forces at times instead of r we can use v where v simply means vertical forces in this video we are simply going to leave it as r subscript a and r subscript b meaning the reaction forces at a and at b respectively subsequently the 25 kilonewton load is acting two meters away from point b for example if this is the center of this beam you can see that the load is acting away from the center to solve this problem step number one forces going up is equal to forces coming down let's consider the forces pushing the beam up the reaction at point a is going up likewise the reaction at point b is equally going up hence r subscript a and r subscript b are both pointing up next let's consider the forces coming down on the beam the only load on this beam is 25 kilonewton hence the downward force on the beam is 25 kilonewton next step number two clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment consider the conventional clock direction any force that will push this beam to turn towards this direction is known as clockwise moment likewise any force that will push this beam to turn towards this direction which is against the clock direction is known as anti-clockwise moment another way to actually write this is simply saying the summation of all the moments about a particular point is equal to zero this point can be a it can be b it depends on your choice remember in step one we have two unknown in this step two we're going to take the moment about point a which is equal to zero with this condition at point a ra will be equal to zero and we're going to be left with only two forces which is 25 kilonewton and r subscript b next let's consider the 25 kilonewton load and let's assume that r subscript b does not exist the 25 kilonewton load will turn this beam in the clockwise direction hence for the clockwise direction we're going to write 25 but we're going to multiply this 25 by the distance between 
the 25 to where we're taking our moment at point a and this distance is four for the clockwise moment we're going to have 25 multiplied by 4. Next, we're going to consider R subscript B force. Let's assume that the 25 kilonewton does not exist at this moment. Hence, R subscript B will turn this beam in the anticlockwise direction about point A. And we're going to have R subscript B. Next, we're going to multiply R subscript B with the distance from this point of B to the point where we're taking our moment from, which is point A. And the total distance is 2 plus 4, which is 6. Hence, the anticlockwise moment is R subscript B multiplied by 6. Hence, in step number 2, instead of this symbol, I will now have 25 multiplied by 4 is equal to R subscript B multiplied by 6. Here, we are going to have 25 multiplied by 4 is 100 and on the other side we're going to have next we're going to isolate r subscript b hence 6 we move over to the other side to divide 100 and 100 divided by 6 will give you 16.67 kilonewton to two decimal places now that you have find RB, next, we are going to find RA. Step number 3, we are going to substitute the value of RB into step number 1. Where we have forces up is equal to forces down. But here, we know the value of RB which is 16.67 kN. Next, we are going to isolate RA. Then, we are going to move 16.67 over to the other side and it's going to be minus 16.67. And here we have that R subscript A is 8.33 kN. We have gotten R subscript B. Now we have the value of R subscript A. If you add the forces going up, it should be equal to the forces coming down. Now that you can calculate point load in this video and from the previous video. In the next video, we are going to consider uniformly distributed load on beams, at times represented in this order. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. To locate other helpful videos, you can follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.